Hi everyone, uh, I'm here to talk to you about the process of a puzzle, um, about my documentary of it. Uh, shooting this short, short film wasn't hard at all. Uh, I found myself, you know, being more peaceful, putting my shots together and how I want things and how I want the shots to go. Uh, I think they ran very smoothly. The only thing that I really don't too much like is the texting. Um, I had a different type of texting mode in mind when I was inserting this in during post-production um, and it didn't come out how I thought it would come out. Setting the camera up, doing my middle shots, my medium shots, I'm sorry, my medium shots, it wasn't hard at all. I knew what I was supposed to be doing as an actress and what I was supposed to be typing. I took the dialogue from the script and put it as a texting format. So it's basically saying that my friend, normally during post-production when I'm editing, I uh, I don't like to be bothered with. <laughs> so with this scene, I kind of made it so as if I'm a little annoyed because that's how I get when I'm doing post-production. People like to tap me on the shoulder or t call or text me and I'm just like, uh, you know what? Eh, let me just express how I feel sometimes to my friends who are very supportive of my films. Um, with the color tone, I like using the effects that's in Adobe Premiere. And they come in handy. I kind of play with them a lot just to um, get a feel of what type of film I know that I'm shooting that would set the mode and the timing of everything. Um, because this was shot in this location, which is my brother's sunroom, <laughs> um, the effect that I used to enhance this really came out nice. It brings my color, my shirts off real nice. Um, this image right here with me practicing my color grading, I'm actually working on that film. And I thought that would be a good thing to show while putting this film together. Also, if you haven't noticed that there's a paper right there that shouldn't be right there. It's a Walmart paper with footages and everything. But, um, it really shouldn't be right there, and I didn't want it to be right there. Um, with this thing, it was kind of hard to set my camera up in the back seat. I didn't really know how the camera would work and how the focus was working because I put it on autofocus, and I was making sure that the camera stayed in place how I wanted it to look while I was driving. I didn't know it slid over, which... Which is kind of cool because <laughs> it went along with the set as I turned. Um, I went out to the lake and I set the camera up and I got in front of the camera. Make sure I was kind of angled in the front of the camera. Um, although it wasn't as clear to me that my camera wasn't focused at all. And I thought that was probably like a little different that I would be inserting in, in the short film. To have a little bit blur going on and not everything so clear. I thought that was unique while I was putting this together. Um, this scene right here was actually shot on a different day, and it actually comes from the same storyline with the same dialogue. Um, we just improv it just a little bit. Um, I have a friend, Corey, who likes to be in my film and likes to help me out with this film. So while he remains stands, I actually took the camera and I had to move it to different angles where I knew the story would like portray more while I shot it on my own instead of doing a two people shot. I don't like to be in front of the cameras because of my blemishes but hey it happened the way it happened. Um, this basically um, goes along with the first story in the beginning saying how it's difficult to like put and find locations around your area to shoot your film. Um, we actually had to shoot this like multiple times. Uh, the two shot wasn't too bad. We actually shot that like two times. We would, um, say the whole thing out, the whole dialogue out one way, and then we'll cut that and then I'll do it from his point of view and then we'll cut it and then we'll do it a third time from the straightforward and then we'll cut it. But um, putting this together wasn't hard at all. I actually enjoyed it. And I hope y'all enjoyed it, even though it wasn't something really major. But it was something major to me because, you know, I put it together to my, for myself. And I actually had to do and adjust the cameras to myself. But um, I hope y'all enjoyed my story. And I hope you enjoyed listening as well. And...
keep making those films.